Hello students, I'm Imani Sharma, your UGC NET educator. In this new YouTube video, we are going to move ahead, move forward with the concept series on paper 1, teaching and research aptitude. So we have been covering certain things about ICT where we have covered about the differentiation similarities between hardware and software. We've also talked about in the previous videos about the language processes which are there, why they are used, what are the differentiations between the two or three of them and how they are similar to one another as well. But in today's lecture, we are going to talk about malware. Now, first of all, you would be seeing certain questions because UGC net examiners now have started asking questions really in depth and in a comprehensive manner. So we have different different types of malware which are there, Trojan horse, ransomware, spyware, adware, so on and so forth. We will be dealing with all of them, correct? So you all need to, you know, have your notebooks with your own cells and start noting these particular things down. And before we jump into the description as well, I have one thing to say that we are going to start with the paper one teaching and research aptitude batch from the 10th of July. Apart from that, we are also going to deal with English Literature Paper 2 and Political Science Paper 2 from the UGC Net Paradigm as well. So for more information, you can click on the link which is provided in the description below. Coming back here again, what is first of all we are going to talk about, what is malware, then we are slowly and slowly going to delve deep into what are the different types, what are certain examples which are there. So malware is a short form or a combination of two words, malicious software, correct? So it means that this software is going to harm your computer one way or the other. We talk about viruses, we talk about Trojan horses, how and why they are there, correct? Refers to any software designed to harm, exploit, or gain unauthorized access to computer system and how they will be by gaining this unauthorized access they will be gathering your data right that is why we have the term hacking in place understanding these different types of malware is crucial for effective cyber security because of course in today's time it is really crucial because people share lots and lots of data over internet and there that thing can be hacked Correct? And protection against any kind of threats which are malicious. So we all need to be aware of installing an antivirus software to get rid or maybe protect our systems, computer systems, so on and so forth from all these malicious softwares. Now the first type of malicious software that we are going to talk about malware is virus type of malware that infects and replicates itself. So of course, if it is there in your computer, right, through any site, through anything it, ha it has come, it has reached your particular computer system, it will replicate the coding. So virus here, we are not talking about the COVID virus, etc. or the other types of flus which are generally there, but we are talking about the coding which is there. So why are we ca calling them malware? because it is a software and these things are not physically present but these things are in the form of codes so these are coded so the virus here is will be uh, will be a you know file a coded file which will be there in your computer system certainly installed from uh, maybe a website right maybe someone's pen drive so on and so forth and it can replicate itself until and unless you get that particular thing resolved by installing an antivirus software it can cause damage to system files and data that you have it can delete the data without your permission correct and can spread to other computers. So let's just say that your computer contains virus from a website. If somebody plugs in their pen drive to get certain files out from your computer and they, then they plug that very pen drive in their own computers, of course the virus will keep on moving forward from one computer to the other. Hence it is replicating itself. itself. The code is getting a replica. Example are Melisa, I love you. These are certain websites. These are certain, you know, viruses which are there and code red. Correct? Next type of malware we are going to talk about is a Trojan horse. 
यू ऑल वुड हैव हर्ड द स्टोरी ऑफ ट्रॉय राइट सो हाउ द लकड़ी का घोड़ा दैट वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट हाउ देर वर सोल्जर्स सो इट वॉज प्रेजेंटेड एज अ गिफ्ट टू दी अदर किंग बट राधर इट वॉज हैविंग द सोल्जर्स हु वर दे correct so this is again a deceptive malware which appears that disguises itself as a legitimate software so of course trojan horse will seem like it is a you know it is a legitimate this software is legitimate you can install it for your own benefit so on and so forth it will then get installed on your computer and eventually what will happen it will gain unauthorized access so what will happen then of course again the loss of data will be there it often acts as a back door so from a back door we are going to talk about what is a back door as such right from a back door it is going to enter and then reach to your computer system threat it with its unauthorized access correct examples are zeus spy eye and emotet these are certain examples of the trojan horse malware then we have worm what is a worm worm is a self replicating malware that spreads across networks or computer systems without requiring human interaction so i was telling you about the virus which is going to spread from your computer through the pen drive etc but this particular and this has been asked in the net examination so this is an important one because it was there right so what is a worm it will keep on replicating and with the replication of course it will getting it will be multiplied right so multiplication through the computer networks let's just say that you are sending a file over the internet to your friend or a group of friends all of them will now have what they will have worms in their computers and then they will be sending files across to other people it will get multiplied correct exploits vulnerabilities of the computer to infect and compromise so of course it will compromise your data right examples are configure my doom and wanna cry these are certain examples of the malware titled worm then we have ransomware now as the name is holding in the answer for this type of malware this type of software so ransomware where you are going to see that it will encrypt your files your data right demanding a ransom to restore access so let's just say me giving you a generic example that a child gets kidnapped uske baad they ask for firoti they ask for ransom same is the case here if you want your child back if you want your data back for your computer etc etc if you want to gain back the access of your computer system the files the data stored there you will have to pay to the hacker who has you know hacked your particular computer system with this very ransom where it can cause significant disruption and financial loss of course disruption of the data which is their financial loss why because you will have to pay to the person correct that is why in today's time cyber security and the cyber police plays a really crucial role because a lot of time online frauds have happened right and they still are happening and this is one case examples are wanna cry patria and crypto locker moving ahead we have spyware now it has the word spy in it so what do we really mean by spying you know we mean that it is going to secretly look upon that is what we really mean by spy, spying or stalking correct so it is going to spy secretly gather information about a user or an organization without their consent so you will not know that there is a spyware installed in your computer until and unless you have an antivirus software which will detect it of course correct so that is why that is why the antivirus softwares come into play come into being because of the fact that they will detect these things for you moving ahead here as well it will be gathering data let's just say that there is an organization right and there's this hijacker who is sitting he wants to gain access to each and every employee what is the salary what do they do so on and so forth some confidential information per se as well of the organization as a whole 
right? To maybe let's just say make them aware of certain things and have them certain, you know, certain kind of financial loss. So what is happening here is that he or she, the hacker, is spying over the organization, spying over a particular user for that matter and they are going to take that very data without their consent, without them knowing particularly. It monitors activities at what do they do at what point of time, steals data and can compromise privacy. So the privacy of an organization or a user is hampered if there is spyware on their system. Example, Finn Fisher, Zeus and key loggers. These are certain examples of what? These are certain examples of spyware. Then we have adware. Again, here we have a word ad. So the, you would have seen certain ads which pop that you have, uh, you know, gotten an iPhone, you have won an iPhone, so on and so forth. You should not click on those particular ads because the, then the virus will get installed in your computers, phones, etc. So here, displays the unwanted advertisements on a user's computer or device. As I told you, it could pop up in your, you know, phone as well, phone's browser because there are certain websites which will be having virus and when you redirect to that very particular website, the virus can get installed and this type of malware is known as adware. It often accompanies free software that you need to install this particular software to gain access to iPhone so on and may be intrusive and disruptive. Certain examples are Superfish, Yontu and DNS Unlocker, correct? Then we have Botnet. A bot we all know that not from the PUBG game of course, but bot from the robot. So it is a short form for robot. So what do the bots do? We have chat bots which will chat with us, correct? You would have seen certain websites which have like, let's, let's just say Mintra, right? A chat bot is there which is going to talk to me. This is a normal example and I am not talking generally about, uh, you know, the botnet abhi. I am just giving an example of bots. What are bots? These are the machines which are talking to us, right? The robots which are programmed to talk to us, correct? Now, botnet is a network, net bot, correct? Botnet is a network of infected computers which are often controlled remotely to carry out various malicious activities, to gather data, to, you know, hamper the security, confidential data of a particular user, organization, so on and so forth. Can be used for DDoS attacks, spam distribution. So the spams you usually get in your, you know, emails, spreading malware. So they are used for this particular thing. Examples are Mirai, Neckers and Zeus Game Over. These are certain examples of botnet. So, network of infected computers which a person or a hacker controls remotely. So, sitting at your place, you are connected to different different computers and you are controlling those computers for certain kinds of malicious activities. Then we have scareware. Here we have the word scare. Refers to deceptive software that tricks users that their computer is infected with malware or other issues. When they will feel like that, it will purchase because of the fact that you are going to purchase something, a particular kind of software or unnecessary security software and services and hence then again this scareware will be introduced in your and uploaded on, on your computer system device etc. So it is going to scare you that yes your computer is infected, scare you into buying an unauthorized a fake system software for the security. Examples are WinFixer. Then we have Browser Hijacker. Modifies web browsers as the name suggests. It is going to hijack the browser, correct? Modify web browser settings without the consent of the user. It will redirect users to unwanted websites. You, without even your own knowledge, you will be redirected to websites which you never really visited, correct? So the browser will be hijacked by a person and they will be performing such tasks on your particular computer, phone, so on and so forth. They often come bundled with free software downloads and can result in privacy issues. So of course, when you will install or download a free software, this browser hijacker will be there and then when you, whenever you will be using your browser, you will be redirected to websites that you never visited to or you do not want to visit of course. Examples are cool web search. 
then we have crypto jacking cryptocurrency we all have heard would have been and this has been a hot topic in today's time it is unauthorized access or use of a victim's computer to mine crypt crypto currency so of course the cryptocurrency that you have which you have you know uploaded etc that you have invested in that particular cryptocurrency will be harmed by this particular any kind of hijacker who will be hijacking your system it utilizes the processing power leading to performance degradation and increased energy consumption so these are certain negative points of the crypto jacking examples is coin hive then we have back door we were talking about back door here i have the total definition of what really is a back door hidden entry point from where a virus will be entering allows unauthorized access and control so from a back door right you will be entering as a hijacker of course you will be gaining access unauthorized in an un unauthorized way and you will be getting the data correct so it is a hidden entry point which is unauthorized bypasses normal authentication so using the ba you know back door you can also put in the password of the user etc the username password etc mechanisms providing attackers with a stealthy way to compromise the system gaining and stealing the data so on and so forth example for this one is netbus then we have the conclusion here as well as i already told you what is a malware it is a combination of malicious software so the software that we did till now in all the slides they were having some kind of malicious threat some kind of malicious hint in there and how they are installed are they multiplied etc correct significant threat to computer system and for that very particular thing we should understand these types of malwares how to deal with them and of course you all should be installing antivirus software and a legit one i should say not a free security software just like scareware correct so this is what we were supposed to cover in today's lecture in today's video where we talked about malware its types with certain kinds of example i will see you again in another video thank you so much and have a good day